Or you are listening to Alex Belfield at breakfast. Oh, you naughty boy, Alex. <laughs> oh, Alex, it is so wonderful being in the broom cupboard with you. Oh, Alex. <laughs> Well, the audience is always different. Uh, wherever you go, uh, you'll get the audiences laugh at different things. So you're on your toes, really, with that one. You think, oh, didn't get a laugh there, but you get a laugh somewhere else. So, so that keeps you on your toes. Um, it's a good. We're all mates, so that's good. And backstage, we're all larking about, which we shouldn't do. We shouldn't say that, but we do because I think that keeps you know keeps everyone's spirits up. And and I think if you're having a laugh and and, and a joke as well, that keeps the energy up off stage. Um, we're squirting you know each other with water and God knows what else. Silly childish things, but it, but it makes us laugh, and um, and and I and you know it, it's performing for for audiences, and I think you always get the buzz, and also different things happen, things go wrong, you know, as as things did last night, you know, or people forget lines, or you never know what's going to happen. That that's the lovely thing about live theatre, you don't know. <laughs> do you prefer doing theatre, or would you rather do TV where you can do it again if you make a mistake, or do you like the ad libbing? What do you enjoy the most? I love all aspects of acting. I think I'm very lucky to be acting uh, at the moment, working, because there's so many of us. I think about 90% are out of work. Um, I, and, but I, I love television as well. When we filmed Hello, Hello, we had a live audience. Um, so you still, had to, you still had to get your laughs. They weren't put on after. You know, if you didn't get them, you didn't get them put on after. And I think that... Um, and, and, and also, but, but the performance comes down, because you're larger on stage and then when you're doing television you have to bring your performance down I remember when we were doing the LOLO stage show and we went from there to the telly doing the telly and David Croft turned around and he went I was going oh Renee hold me kiss me do all those things that drive me wild and um, <laughs> and, and David went Vicky you're not on stage now and you had to say you have to rethink and you think oh sorry David yes yeah too big bring it down for television because it amplifies everything they oh, say yes. doesn't it yeah 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 because you're so close on screen you know you can see every every movement of your face and if you're over the top you just look sort of I don't know <laughs> stupid I think would be the word <laughs> is it just luck getting cast in a role like that because you didn't know that it was still going to be as popular today as it was then when you took the role do you get a sense of how good a show is David Croft obviously was a clue that it might be big <laughs> yeah. but I mean, did you know at the time? Um, well, no one ever really knows. Um, and But when I read the script, uh, well, you, you laughed. I mean, you read that, that pilot and you laughed. But it was funny because I read for two parts, um, Michelle of the Resistance and Yvette. And uh, the reason that I, I went for Aloha Lo is because I'd been for um, a show called Come Back, Mrs. Noah that Jimmy Perry and David Croft had written. And my sister, it was out of my sister and myself who got that part. Oh, right. And my sister, Anne Michelle, got that part. He decided to go with Anne. But I played in that French-made robot. Right. And then after that, Jeremy Lloyd and David Croft got together and they wrote this Hello, Hello. And there was a part, you know, French accent. So he rang up and said, Vicky, what's your French accent? I said, terrific, as you would. <laughs> and um, I, I read for both parts. And then I got the part of Yvette. So the, the mums, dads, the grands and grandpas got the rude bits. And the children sort of didn't, but they knew there was something rude there. So they <laughs> laughed just because their parents were laughing. But then you did have things like sausages and, you know, kids aren't stupid and <laughs> bottoms. And, and I, I think, Arthur Bostrom, I was pissing by your coffee. You know, the kids would laugh at that, you know, but it was always covered. It was always covered by, well, he's only saying I was passing by your cafe. You know, everything was covered, but of course it was, it was you know, there was the nuances or the you know the little rude bit what a fallen madonna with the big boobies sort of boobies the kids must have loved that you know um it was fantastic i said oh david why couldn't you have given that to me so that i could you know i could speak that cod english it was such a fantastic part and uh, and arthur played it brilliantly very dead deadpan but they use that in schools when the teachers are teaching children french they're saying this is how you sound to the french right <laughs> if you don't pronounce it properly which right. is great. So, so, so we were sort of helping people learn as well. <laughs> what was your favourite line from the whole series? There were too many in Hello, Hello. There was, I liked in um, <laughs> uh, Hair Flick's line in the pilot when he picked up the phone and he went, Hello, Flick, the Gestapo. No, 
I said flick the Gestapo. <laughs> well, leave it up to you. But that was very risky, but they really... But, you know, but it was left in the mind. He never actually said a rude word, but it was left in people's minds. And, and um, for me, obviously, my, I asked David Croft if I could have... Um, my own line like um, listen very carefully I shall say this only once or you stupid one even no 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 Vicky we've got enough of those you can't have one on all right then. <laughs> but every week I went O O O H Rene so in the beginning I go oh Rene old me again oh Rene and then it's sort of oh Rene. and then it got longer and then he went oh Rene and so I developed that and that became my catchphrase as it was I suppose and the thing that everybody remembers and loves yes thank you murder on the throat <laughs> I was thinking with things like hello hello it's a bit like around the horn I don't think you'd get away with it today if somebody wrote it in a modern context because there's, there's so much in it that you can go oh flick what do, what, what do they mean by do you know what I mean well you, Where, know, well, you do but, but because no one's saying it it's your mind it's your yes. imagination <laughs> that's saying see it's not us <laughs> I'm the deviant for thinking you're it you're the deviant for thinking <laughs> Absolutely right, and that and that is so. So no one's going to admit, oh, that was terribly, terribly rude, because because it's them and not us, and it's and I think that's that that was the secret, and obviously the children knew, you know, so what, and the parents would laugh at what was implied that he was saying, but um, but but nothing was ever. There was never any. We never swore. Um, you know, we never we embraced Renee and, and I, but we never actually kissed. <laughs> you know, and it was all in people's minds. I mean, if you. Men come up and say, oh, those lovely short skirts you wore in Hello, Hello. Well, I didn't. I wore a knee-length <laughs> skirt. But in their imaginations, I was the French maid with the short skirt. So it's, it's those ideas, I think, that, uh, that we put in. And, and, but that, but that is, that's British humour. And, and it worked. And we, did, we sold to about 80 countries. Which is fantastic. I mean, that's worldwide, you know. You go abroad to some remote country <laughs> and they know you. In Guatemala, they come up and want an autograph. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Well, I'd like to thank you because, I mean, you got me through puberty, so thank you so much. <laughs> well, I'm so pleased with that, Ali. <laughs> oh, Ali. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thought to leave you with to put you off this evening's show. Vicky Michelle. Oh, thank you, Alison. Thank you for inviting me into your broom cupboard. <laughs> well, no, well, this is our glamorous studios. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> 